Hello, children. I am Lappy. I'll guide you all through the book. Natural and man-made things. See around you. You may see many things like other children, teacher, blackboard, desk, chairs, flies, plants, etc. These things are either natural or man-made. Natural things. Natural things occur in nature. They are not made by man. For example, sun, animal, plant, mountain. Man-made things. Things made by man are called man-made things. For example, car, fan, chair, computer. Machines are also made by man. Let us know what a machine is. What is a machine? A machine is a man-made thing that helps us work faster and makes our life easier. Let us know about some machines. A television helps us watch different programs. A washing machine is used to wash dirty clothes. We use a bicycle to travel short distances. We use a telephone to talk to people far away. Some machines work on electricity like television, cooler, fan, computer, torch, calculator, toy car and razor are some machines that work on batteries. Some machines work on diesel or petrol like car, motorboat, scooter, bus. What is a computer? A computer is a wonderful electronic machine, children. It works very fast. We can do many kinds of work on a computer. Features of a computer Let us know why a computer is called a wonderful machine. A computer works very fast. A computer can store lots of information. A computer can do many kinds of work. A computer never makes mistakes. A computer works on our instructions. A computer never gets bored or tired. Parts of a computer Our body has many parts. Similarly, every machine also has many parts. A computer too has many parts. These parts help the computer work and do many kinds of work. Look at the different parts of a computer. Monitor, keyboard, speaker, mouse, UPS, CPU box. About how many of these do you already know? A computer has four main parts. Monitor. The monitor looks like a television. Anything that we draw or type is seen on it. You can also watch movies and cartoons on the monitor. Nowadays, monitors are also available with a flat screen. These are of two types, LCD monitors and LED monitors. Both of them look the same. Keyboard The keyboard has many small buttons called keys. Keys have numbers, letters and symbols written on them. They are used for typing. To write on the computer, we press the keys on the keyboard. This is called typing. Mouse The mouse is used to draw pictures and point at objects on the monitor. Infobyte The first computer mouse was made of wood. CPU box The CPU box contains some important computer components. These components help the computer remember things and work properly. CPU box CPU CD drive It is used to run CDs and we use CDs to store information. Infobyte A CPU is also called processor. The CPU is called the brain of a computer. It stands for Central Processing Unit. As your brain helps you remember things and tells the other body parts what to do, the CPU also helps the computer remember things and controls the other parts. 
Let us know about some other parts of a computer. Printer A printer is used for printing pictures and text on paper. Speakers Speakers are used to listen to music or any other sound. UPS The UPS stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. It keeps the computer on for some time even if the electricity goes off. Tech Word Monitor Screen of Computer Keyboard Typing Pad CPU A component that controls other parts of the computer. UPS A component that keeps the computer working for some time even when the power supply goes off. Wind up. A computer has many parts. Monitor, keyboard, mouse and CPU are the four main parts. CPU is fitted inside the CPU box. Some other parts of a computer are printer, speaker and UPS. Printer is used for printing pictures and text on paper. Speakers are used to listen to music or any other sound. Uses of Computers Isn't computer a wonderful machine? Let us know its various uses. A computer is a very useful machine, children. It is used for various purposes. Let us know about them. Play Games Computers can be used for playing various types of games such as cricket, badminton, chess, racing etc. You can play games on a computer. Solve sums. Computers like calculators can be used for doing sums. You can do calculations and solve sums on it. Watch and make movies. Computers like televisions can be used for watching movies. Computers also help in making animated movies. Do you like movies? You can watch a movie on it. Infobite My friend Ganesha, Bal Hanuman and Batman are some examples of animated movies. Draw and color pictures Computers can help you draw beautiful pictures and color them too. You can draw pictures and fill colors in them. Listen to music. Computers can play various kinds of music. You can listen to music on it. Type the text. Computers can be used for writing letters, stories and poems. You can type the text using the keyboard. Tech word. Animated movies. Movies that are created using drawings of characters. Typing. Pressing keys on the keyboard to write on computers. Wind up. We can use a computer to play games. We can use it to solve sums. We can watch and make movies on it. We can draw pictures and fill colors in them. We can listen to music on it. And we can type the text on it. Computers at work. Let us know the uses of computers at different places. Computers are used at different places for different purposes. Let us know. In schools. Computers are used in schools. Computers are used for preparing notes, worksheets and projects. Computers are used for teaching students. Computers are used for preparing reports and results. Computers are used for keeping records of library books. In hospitals. Computers are used in hospitals. Computers are used for keeping records of patients. Computers are used to diagnose diseases. At railway stations and airports. Computers are used at railway stations and airports. Computers are used for keeping records of arrival and departure timings. Computers are used for booking tickets. At homes. Computers are used at homes. Computers are used for doing homework and making projects. Computers are used to connect with friends and family through the internet. In banks. 
Computers are used in banks. Computers are used for managing customers' accounts. Computers are used to withdraw money from ATMs. In offices, computers are used in offices. Computers are used for writing documents. Computers are used for sending and receiving emails. Computers are used for keeping records of employees. Computers are used to store and manage business data. At research centers, computers are used at research centers. Computers are used in launching satellites. Computers are used in weather forecasting. In shops, computers are used in shops. Computers are used for calculating bills. Computers are used for keeping records of stocks. Tech word. Diagnose to find out the cause of a disease. Email letter received on a computer. Weather forecasting telling about the condition of weather in coming days. Stocks the quantity or number of items. Wind up. Computers are used at different places for different purposes. In schools, computers are used for teaching, preparing notes reports and results in hospitals computers are used for keeping records of patients and diagnosing diseases computers are used to withdraw money from ATMs and to send emails computers are used in weather forecasting and launching satellites keyboard to work on a computer it is very important to know about the keyboard children let us know about it a keyboard is a very important part of a computer. It has many keys on it to type letters, numbers and symbols. A keyboard is also used to give instructions to the computer. A keyboard usually has 104 keys. Infobyte The keyboard is usually connected to the CPU through a wire. Alphabet Keys a keyboard has alphabet keys. There are 26 alphabet keys on the keyboard. You can find all 26 letters of the alphabet on these keys. You can type letters and words using the alphabet keys. Infobyte You can write capital letters if you put the caps lock key on. Number keys A keyboard has number keys. You can find the numbers 0 to 9 on these keys. You can type your parents' mobile number using the number keys. Function keys. A keyboard has 12 function keys. You can find F1 to F12 written on these keys. You can perform specific functions using the function keys. Arrow keys. A keyboard has 4 arrow keys. There are four arrow keys. You can find arrows on these keys pointing in all the four directions. You can control the movement of the blinking line or the cursor on the monitor using the arrow keys. Delete key. A keyboard has a delete key. The delete key is used to correct our mistakes. This key removes letters one by one from the right side of the cursor. Backspace key. A keyboard also has a backspace key, children. The backspace key removes letters one by one from the left side of the cursor. Enter keys. A keyboard has two enter keys. You can find two enter keys on the keyboard and you can move the cursor to the next line using the enter keys space bar key a keyboard has a space bar key the space bar is the longest key on the keyboard you can give space between two words using the space bar key alphabet keys there are 26 alphabet keys on the keyboard you can find all 26 letters of the alphabet on these keys you can type letters and words using the alphabet keys. Infobyte 
You can write capital letters if you put the caps lock key on. Number keys. You can find the numbers 0 to 9 on these keys. You can type your parents mobile number using the number keys. Function keys. You can find F1 to F12 written on these keys. You can perform specific functions using the function keys. Arrow keys. A keyboard has four arrow keys. You can find arrows on these keys pointing in all the four directions. You can control the movement of the blinking line or the cursor on the monitor using the arrow keys. Delete key. The delete key is used to correct our mistakes. This key removes letters one by one from the right side of the cursor. Backspace key. The backspace key removes letters one by one from the left side of the cursor. Enter keys. You can find two enter keys on the keyboard. And you can move the cursor to the next line using the enter keys. Space bar key. The space bar is the longest key on the keyboard. You can give space between two words using the space bar key. Wind up. A keyboard usually has 104 keys. Alphabet keys are used to type letters and words. Number keys are used to type numbers. Function keys perform specific functions. Arrow keys are used to control the movement of the cursor. Enter key is used to move the cursor to the next line. Space bar key is used to give space between two words. Tech word Keyboard A device used to type text, numbers and symbols on the monitor. Keys Small buttons on the keyboard. Cursor Blinking line on the monitor. Mouse Parts of a mouse A mouse usually has two buttons, the left and the right buttons and a scroll wheel. You use these buttons to operate the mouse and the scroll wheel to move up and down a page. Let us know its different parts. Infobyte The computer mouse was invented by Douglas Angel Bart. Mouse Pad You should place a mouse on a flat surface called a mouse pad. A mouse is best used on a smooth surface like a mouse pad. A mouse pad keeps the mouse dust free. Holding a mouse. You should hold the mouse properly, children. Rest your palm comfortably on the mouse. Put your index finger on the left mouse button. Put your middle finger on the right mouse button. Mouse pointer. The mouse pointer is used to point at objects on the monitor. The slant arrow which represents the mouse on the monitor is called the mouse pointer. When you move the mouse, the mouse pointer on the monitor moves in the same direction. Click and double click. Click on the mouse once or twice to perform some function. Pressing and releasing the left mouse button gently is called click. The mouse makes a clicking sound. Pressing and releasing the left mouse button twice in quick succession is called double click. Tech word. Scroll wheel. A wheel which can be rotated using fingers. Mouse pad. A smooth flat surface. Mouse pointer. A pointer generally an arrow that moves on the screen when the mouse is moved. Mouse click. A sound which we hear when the mouse button is pressed. Wind up. A mouse usually has two buttons and a scroll wheel. Buttons are used to operate the mouse and the scroll wheel to move up and down a page. A mouse pad keeps the mouse dust free. We put our index finger on the left mouse button and middle finger on the right mouse button. The slant arrow which represents the mouse on the monitor is called the mouse pointer. Switching on or off a computer. Now you know enough to work with the computer. 
but you still do not know how to switch on or off the computer. Let us know. To work on the computer, we first turn it on. Let us know how to switch on the computer step by step. Infobyte. To keep a computer in good working condition, we must switch on or off it properly. Switch on the main power. Second, switch on the UPS. Third, switch on the CPU. Fourth, switch on the monitor. Wait till the screen as shown on the next page does not appear on the monitor. Computer screen desktop. When we start the computer, we see its opening screen. This screen is called the desktop. The desktop screen has some small pictures on it. These are called icons. It has a start button. Infobyte. You can change the appearance of the desktop. Switching off the computer. When you have finished your work on the computer, you can switch it off by performing the following steps. With the help of mouse, click on the start button on the desktop screen. Second, click the shutdown option in the start menu. Third, switch off the monitor by pressing the power button on it. Fourth, switch off the UPS by pressing the power button on it. Fifth, switch off the main power. Tech word, desktop. The first screen we see on the monitor after switching on the computer. Icons, small pictures present on the desktop. Wind up. To work on the computer, we first turn it on. To start the computer, we switch on the main power. Switch on the UPS. Switch on the CPU. Switch on the monitor. When we start the computer, we see its opening screen. This screen is called the desktop. The desktop has small pictures on it. These are called icons. To switch off the computer, we click on the start button. Select the shutdown option in the small rectangular screen that appears. Switch off the monitor. Switch off the UPS. Switch off the main power.